Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I explain to you how to create GPO, to deploy hosts file, to block websites to all computers. This method prevents users from accessing specific websites, through the hosts file. For example, this is one of the client's computers, and it works with Windows 10, and I want to make some modifications in the hosts file, to prevent users from opening some websites. First, you need to know the location of the hosts file. The location of the hosts file is shown in front of you on the screen. After knowing the location of the hosts file, I will return to the domain server to learn about the steps to deploy hosts file for domain users. Open this PC and open any partition. Then, create a new folder and give the folder an appropriate name. For example, deploy hosts. Double click on the folder that was just created. In it, create a new text file and name the file to hosts. After that, double click on the text file called host, then type 0.0.0.0, and then the name of website that you want, to prevent users from accessing. For example, Facebook. You can also add another website, in the same way. Go down to the next line, and type 0.0.0.0, and then the name of the site you want. Then close the text file, and click on the save button. The next step is to change the file extension, click the view tab, then check the box next to file name extensions, to show the file extension. After showing the file extension, right click on it, and select rename, then remove the extension. Click on the yes button, to save the changes. This is considered the first step. Then, I will create GPO, and publish this file, on all client computers. Sorry before that. This folder called Deploy Hosts, must be shared. Right click on the folder, and from the menu click on Properties. Then, click on the Sharing tab, then click on the Advanced Sharing. Then, check the box next to share this folder, then click on the Apply and OK button, and this folder has been shared, then click the Close button in the Properties window. The next step is to create GPO, and publish this file on all client computers. Open Server Manager Dashboard, then click on the Tools menu from the top of the page, and from the menu, click on Group Policy Management. After opening Group Policy Management, head to the left, expand the forest, and click on the server that you will work on, then right-click on the Group Policy object, and from the menu, click on New. This will open new PO window, enter an appropriate name, for this policy so that you can easily access it later. Then, click on the OK button. Next, right-click on the GPO, that was just created. From the menu, click on Edit. This will open the Group Policy Management Editor window, then go to the left side. And under Computer Configuration, Expand Preferences folder. Expand Windows Settings folder, then click File. Then turn it on the other side, and click right mouse button, and from the menu click on New. And then click on File. After opening New File Properties, Change the action to replace, to change the old file, to the new file we created. Then in source file field, type the path of the shared folder. Go back to the folder, right click on it, and click properties. Then click on the sharing tab, and under network path copy this path, and paste in the source file field. After pasting the path, type slash host to access the file directly. Then in the destination file field, type the path of the host file on the client's computer, then type slash host. Then click on the apply button, then OK button. Now you can close group policy management editor. The last step is to link this policy with the organizational unit you want. I will link it to the organizational unit called test. After connecting the GPO, we will now move to the client's computer. Open the old hosts file. Now I will update the policy group so that the new policy can be used. This is the hosts file. Now open the CMD and type the command that appears in front of you on the screen to update the group policy. After that, open the hosts file after updating the group policy. And you will find that the file has been replaced with the file that was created and published by the policy group on the server. This method is very easy and useful. I hope the video is useful to you. And thank you for watching.
and I also hope to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.